All right, so one basketball game later, <laughs> Ami is asleep, and now we're back in a new session for Okami HD. This Gamer of Glory, I have returned. Evan, say hi. Hey. Haley, also say hi. Hello. All right, so last time we have gotten Yomi Gami's power, which is, which is restoration, basic. Well, rejuvenation is the official name, and now we are gonna demonstrate it right here. I Watch. can't hear the sound. Hold on, I'll make this sound louder. There we go. There we go. Now watch the watch the watch this. This is pretty damn cool, actually. So you can freely stop time by pressing R1 and then brush away. Suddenly you have a power of a river. That looks real beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, a river of stardust. I know. So basically, you can swim in it. Uh, yeah, you can also swim in the water. Can you pause, like, in the final boss and draw a mustache on it? Yeah. <laughs> you can tech. You can. Yeah, like I said, you can stop time whenever you want. That's the power of a god. Boom. I'm. I know that. I know it looks cool. <laughs> and now I could swim. Uh, by the way, you can drown, but uh, this type of water you can't drown. I was gonna say, how is a fire goddess going through water so freely? I mean, it's it's a bit of it's a bit of an oxymoron because on the one hand, dogs love water, but the they other, don't like swimming. God. It's ha huh, huh, ha. Emmy's like. Like, you know how the wolves in Minecraft, I don't know if this is recent, but last time I played Minecraft, the wolves were programmed to love water, but not programmed to be able to distinguish between water and lava. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. Actually, later in the game, we will be able to swim through lava. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, we got ourselves an astro pa astral pouch. I just call it a... I just call it a an ass pouch. Yeah, an ass pouch. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what this... The ass pouch basically is... Uh, you fill it with food, and basically it gives you a second chance in life when you die. In reality, you should not die in this game at all. Well, technically until like the final, until like post-game stuff. Because this game is pretty damn easy if you know what you're doing. Anyway, we have a long... Uh, so was it one of those games where the gameplay is just not as good if somebody explains it to you first? Yeah, you kind of have to play it. That's why I kind of recommended that uh, Evan play this game. <laughs> See, some games are like that, where they're just not as good if someone's explaining it to you. Yeah, well, that's kind of the case with most games, but well, usually, it's usually when we commentate, other people should play this game. Because Evan played Kingdom Hearts, and he knew what's going on. See, I don't know, it's like, uh, this is a bad time for an anecdote, I'll tell the story later. Anyway, we have reached the Cave of Nagi, Legend Hero Nagi, yada yada yada, but the... But the sword is in bad shape. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. <laughs> Where the heck are we, Fermal? That, you know, that could, right, might as well be his voice. <laughs> Gods didn't do much to protect this place. Anyway, since we have the power restoration, you know what to do. Power, fix this damn sword up, Amy. And you know what? Put, <laughs> nice you know, blade. <laughs> and you know what? Put a, sw put a swimming pool over there, too. Ugh, so, yeah, basically, Isun was a little skeptical on this because he didn't he didn't know that it was Ami's uh, Ami's uh, brushwork, quote unquote. And we have another constellation, and finally get we get an actual offensive move. And we drew a rat. This is a mouse. It's part of the zodiac calendar, actually. And he has a giant freaking Buster Sword. I know, it sounds so damn cool. Anyway, me, Tachigami. Tachi means to cut, basically. It has been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes, even though I can only see one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there were two. Wolf and... well, uh... Yeah, that's two. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil, even though you're not gonna use it at all. And we finally get his power. Guess what we're gonna use? Not the sword? No, we're not gonna <laughs> use the sword. Anyway, that was the god Tachigami. So, master of the power slash technique. Evan, I think you already know what this one is. He'll it's... just like that shit I knew he. Maybe he maybe he maybe she is. <laughs> when Shira knew he died, the wolf's power was split into thirteen brush gods. It's just like that legend. So, basically, we're gonna have to draw the power slash technique. If you're playing the Wii version, this is the hardest thing in the game. 
by drawing a single straight line. Because if you're playing the Wii Mote, you're basically doing curves all around. But mm -hmm. when you're playing PS, when you're playing PS3, it's very easy. Well, I understand the authenticity with the Wii Mote. Oh, Ifsun is having a humility moment. Yeah, he has a he has a witty moment. <laughs> so basically, Ifsun decides, why not? I'm gonna go follow you so I can steal all those techniques. No apprentice. Goodness. No, well, he's being a, he's being he's being a jerk. That's why. There's no stopping me once I made a decision. Once now that you mastered the power slash, we can finally cut down the thing. Let's go back and give it a shot. Go cut the thing. Cut go the cut thing. The, yeah. Cut <laughs> cut the thing. I also cut some trees too. I do like but the sound the of trees are meant to be treated as gods. No, quiet you. I cut whatever I want. Oh god damn it. <laughs> the tree the tree spirits come back. Like <laughs> <laughs> Steph's not happy with you, dude. So basically, now we're in combat. You can do basic attacks with uh, with the square button and we have uh basically we have enemies here. Uh, we have a divine instrument, basically the reflector on our back. And we can do basic attacks. We can also do the power slash. But I save it for last. You know why? Because I get a demon fang. Demon fangs are basically items They're that you a can. Technique in Tales of Symphonia. I know, but I'm talking about demon fangs as an item, Evan. We're mm. not at it. Do you want to play a Tales game? <laughs> no, because I've only played Symphonia and barely Symphonia. You guys are coming up with some really weird accidental ideas for crossovers here. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so demon fangs are basically items of uh, currency that you can buy items for, which basically break the game. Oh no! So yeah, like I said, this this game, while well, this game becomes easy once you accumulate demon fangs, because when you kill enemies with a floral finisher, uh, well, floral finishers are basically like stray bead. Oh, stray beads. I will explain them later. Um, floral finishers are basically like you finish enemy with a certain rush technique. Those those enemies are known as green imps. Finish them off with a power slash, and you basically get a demon fang. Even though I... And it's very, very easy to get Demon Fangs in this game. Because, uh... Well, enemies late game give off like 5 or 6. And the most that you have to pay is like 100. That's it. And there's some very useful items in the game. There we go. So at the end of the battle, you are ranked with time and damage. Time, you results, damage, and money. That's all that matters in life. Yeah. So it's kind of like uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yeah, ba basically it. Uh, bas but it's for more individual battles like Blade instead. Mode even slows down time. Yeah, well, I do like this, though. Uh, you can see the constellation that you filled in. It looks like you're about to go right off the edge staring at that thing. <laughs> Ooh, so beautiful. Ah! <laughs> okay, so stray beads. There are 100 in the game, and if you collect them all, you get an accessory that basically enables God mode. You get 10 times the you get your attack power becomes 10 times more powerful. Basically, 10 times more attack strength, mm -hmm. and you could and basically you have infinite lot infinite health and infinite ink pots. <laughs> yeah, so basically everybody uses it for speed runs. <laughs> So yeah, me saving over stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's basically like the collectibles, quote unquote, of the game. But we will fill that more out later once we cut down the fruit, because we have more cutscenes to do, and it's one of my it's one of my favorite parts. Uh, get right it? Here. It's it's a cutscene because yeah, you cut. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, it's the power of art direction. This wow. looks beautiful. Oh wow. This reminds me of something I just don't know what. Like, I've seen a video game that did this sort of thing, I just can't remember what it was. I don't... well, I I can't help you there if you don't know the name. I think maybe it was a Pokemon game, maybe? I know it was some kind of RPG. Now that... wasn't that, wasn't that beautiful? I was. How everything still looks green. <laughs> she really was protecting the village, kinda. <laughs> yeah, that was a perverted joke right over there. Isun is a Isun is a Isun. Oh, is the a... Run, the running gag with Isun is basically that he gets called 
Uh, one of them is that uh, he falls in love with all the pretty ladies. And the secondly, all the pretty ladies call him a bug. <laughs> Does he fall in love with Amy? Uh, no, a they, she, he doesn't know that Am Well, Amy's a dog. Yeah, but you see, he's a bug person. Well, he doesn't know that Amy... He fell in love with a tree! <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> And an ex that's just hovering over him like a father, like. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, so Every... what's with the statues? What going on? Everybody's a statue. It's nighttime. I don't see. Oh dang it, Evan, was that you? Did you fart again? <laughs> or like that? Got to be something much bigger. Oh, shit. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse. Yes, you can tackle. <laughs> what are you doing? Jo wow, Josh. First you abused Chow, and now you abuse Stone Villagers. You're just the worst, dude. Well, sharp. I'm sorry, but these things don't break. Everything here is perfectly fine. There's something strange going on. The village is back, but what's up with the dark sky? So, yeah, basically, we have to go to the top. So, at this point... Follow, follow, follow. Yeah, follow the, yeah, follow the invisible arrow. It's invisible. totally invisible. What are you saying? And well, it's not cutting off the trees. Or it's well, technically, it's not actually there. Follow the hallucination. Nothing can possibly go wrong. <laughs> Isu, do you see that? See what? All I see is an arrow. So yeah, here is where the actual name of Ami, aka Sun God, comes into play. You had this power in the start. Why did? You had this power in the start. I think it's like more of why haven't you done this yet? Some kind of curse to the monster to this? You know, you can keep those thoughts all to yourself, you know? If only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, you ha we have ourselves a sun. Blah, blah, blah. But I guess that'd be impossible. Is Eason just egging you on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, if you had that power from the start, that'd be a different story. Sure, sure. He said, shut up. And we have the sun shining. That kanji means sun. <laughs> Your name is... Eason, seriously. That's the name of the sun god. So you were wrong. Yeah. I'm not dead, Asu Senpai. Yeah. <laughs> you can make as many uh, senpai jokes as you want in this game. You're no run-of-the-mill god. I wasn't aware there was such a thing as a run-of-the-mill god. Yeah. Well, technically, there are a lot of spirits, quote-unquote gods, that many humans worship in Jap Japanese culture. That's why they're like a thousand temples. After all, your brush bring did bring out the sun. Now let's head back to the villagers. I do like the villagers in Kamiki, actually. They're pretty funny. Hello, who are you? And guess who this guy is? Since he has an orange on his head, guess what they name him? Villager Elder, Mr. Orange. <laughs> uh, Mr. White. Annoying or Orange, more like it. Oh, I love. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> Meet Mr. Orange. Uh, you can possibly be the legendary Shinoi. So basically, the thing is that they can't see the markings on. Uh, they can't see the markings or the the instrument on Ami's back. They just see a white wolf. Why? Well, because they have little faith. You don't look quite as smart. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't need to growl like that. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like I said, I love the lines in this game. <laughs> oh no, is the sun going out again? No, it's these guys again. Uh, we already explained that these guys are green imps. I always love the introduction to the enemies because they always show like some sort of artwork with that. The sun chilled down my spine. Oh, well, time for a mandatory fight. These ones, some of them come out of nowhere, but if you anticipate them, you can deal with them easily. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Blah, blah, blah. I love this. Grab. Swing. <laughs> I love that. How did the orange stay? Uh, maybe it's some sort of grove within his, uh, within his forehead. Oh, ew. So basically how floor finishes work, I once I deplete their HP, they will go into like some sort of stun stance. That is your point to unleash a floral finisher move. Like, for example, Power Slash. That is how you can get the Demon Fang. 
And trust me, you're gonna need a lot if you want the best, if you want, like, the extra stuff in New Game Plus. But I only have that. So anyway, here is our secondary quote-unquote currency. This is how we're gonna power ourselves up. We get praise. Hmm. So, basically clearing, like, uh, different enemy spawns, uh, dealing with en people's problems, all that. Restoring faith to the gods basically gives you praise, and that, and that basically gives you more a more more power, quote unquote. Cause you, and cause like these days people don't believe in the gods, and now you just need more power so that people can believe in the gods again. And yada yada yada, they're just stats That's for cool. you to just increase your health, pots, astro pouches, and wallet. Okay. Yes, you need praise to increase your wallet. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes that's how it works in real life. Yeah. Okay, so a few, a few of these, uh, a few ways to increase praise, basically to restore nature. You that's that chest. I'll get it later. Uh, right now, I'm just showing off the different items. You get like ink pots out in the out in the battle and sun globes too. Oh, hello, feed bag. If I'd said flea bag for a second there. No, it's... <laughs> no. Eating fleas. Eating. <laughs> And what what animal eats fleas? I don't remember. Frogs. Frogs eat flies. Yeah, fleas are too small. Whenever you want to check the items you obtain, just press the yadi. Okay, fan menu. Fan menu. You can just check your items. That's it. Um, we will discuss the fan menu later, but I'm just gonna show it off here. To start, you can just check your tools, equipment. Here's your weapon. Um, to your right here, you can upgrade your praise. You need dip, you need uh, as much as you can to fill them up. Um, I don't. I can't an example to help you. I, I can't think of an example to help you. We'll figure something out. Yeah. We'll see it in action. So one way to uh, increase praise is to feed animals. But I will feed the animals. I think at right about now. No, I don't think so. Uh, right about here, you can feed birds and feed the seeds. And you get this little scene that you can watch, but I skip it. <laughs> uh, it's pretty... It's, Immersion. Yeah, it's supposed to immerse you, but uh, it's boring. <laughs> we got stuff to do. Yeah. So right down here you can do... Like, there are a lot of side quests here that you can earn for stray beads. But here you can find uh, Mr. Orange sleeping. Ah, great Shiranui. Oh no. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so here's one of the dickish things about uh, Okami. See those little rings? Those are chests. Wow. I can see where this is going. Are they scattered all over the place and really hard to see? Um, sometimes. When when you're at nighttime, you can see them with some sort of, it has some sort of halo on the ground. So we know that's out They're there. They're glowy. Oh hello, meet this guy. Meet the Buddhist guy, I call him. Why do you call him the Buddhist guy? Because he's actually Buddhist. Okay, that explains it. Yeah. Alright, and there. So basically, the deal with this guy is basically you have to use as fast as you can. In this game, it is 10 seconds. The fight went off for exactly 10 seconds. Yeah, you can tell because he has a Buddhist helmet, and it looks like a ramen bowl on top of his head, too. A miso bowl, I think. Yeah, a miso, a miso soup bowl. And he gives you 7 praise. Ow, my foot. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I think uh, right over here is... Actually, yeah, it's right over here. It's where I went to the next part. So, we will see you guys in part 3 of Okami HD. This is Gamer of Glory! I shall return! Have Evan Haley say bye. Bye. See you guys soon!